Richard was so hot. And if you went into town behind Richard, say Indianapolis, Indiana, you had to wait two months if he was there, three months, because he would sweep the whole town clean. Everybody went to see little Richard. He was so excited. Oh, my baba, loo, my blah, bamboo. But the white station wouldn't play black records. You had to, it was about four or five black radio stations in the whole country. And, and, and the white station wouldn't play me. But I was hitting big. And, but the white kids had my record, but I wasn't on the radio, you know. And they, they would hear from WLAC, call your WLAC across the whole country. That's the only thing that helped me. And then they took Pat Boone and threw Pat Boone on me. Oh, wow, Bob, Lou, my, blah, 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 It wasn't something that was done uh, in the beginning when it was rhythm and blues because it was supposed to be not nice music at all. So you didn't have white artists doing black music. It wasn't acceptable. But when it crossed over uh, to the white audience and uh, it was a song that did well with blacks and some whites, they said, well, hey, this is a good vehicle. We'll make even more money. And Pat Boone said, a wop, ba ba loom ba ba la bam boom And I said, I still say, a wop, ba ba loom ba la bam boom And the white kids wanted to hear, wop, ba ba loom ba ba la bam boom woo they wanted to hear me. And, and so they, 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 they were still bringing me in their house. And they didn't want their mama to know I was in the house. So they put Pat Boone on top of the bed and they put me in the drawer. <laughs> but I was still in the same house. <laughs> a wop, ba ba loom ba la bam boom 